Welcome back to Coromon. We are like 80% of the way through the game, I guess. Uh, still surviving. Haven't lost any battle. Still have our goods, most of our good Coromon. Um, so, I have high hopes. We haven't lost our Humbi yet, but we do have a backup in case we do. Um, uh, this one here. Yeah. Alright, so we just entered the ice, icy place. Alright. Uh, so, if we're thinking ahead, probably we'll want to use... Well, Buzzy and Humby are good um, against Ice, Glamour, because he's Ice, so he resists Ice attacks, but at the same time he can use... Um, we'll need to give him a non-Ice move, to be honest. So he's a special attacker. Do we have any non-Ice special attacks? Magic? I mean, it'll do 40, whilst Frozen Spikes, for instance, will do 70. So, against an Ice guy, Energy Drain is technically better. What else we got? We got Air. Well, air is fine. Could use air. Um, wind blast. So if we use that instead of um, so we've got icy flurry. So we can increase accuracy. We don't need to increase speed. And these are all physical. We don't want physical moves to be honest. So yeah, we'll prepare for the boss battle just before it comes up. Because sometimes it just comes up out of nowhere and then you got to fight. This one's... So it could be up to 130. So if we increase our speed a lot... So if we use... How is it calculated? I reckon this might be good, but we're going to have to increase our speed using agility training. Alright, let's do that. We'll try whoosh. So, we'll have to take out one of these. Which one? So, Icy Flurry by default does 45 until you increase your speed. This one does 70. Alright, we'll disable that one. And use whoosh. Alright, we'll try that. So we're preparing him for the uh, boss battle. Which is coming up. Um, but we're going to get through this ice place first. Alright, oh, the other thing is, make sure we got... Buzzy's almost... maxed level. Well, more, almost max potential level, so we'll keep keep going with him. And just make sure the others are picking up XP as well. Alright. Glamour. Who is this? Oh. Um. 
Yeah, okay, climb up, increase your special attack. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Well, there's no point fighting with Buzzy anymore. Buzzy is... Oh, no, he's not maxed out. He can still get more... I don't understand how this works. Is he not max potential level yet? Maybe not. Uh, the other Humvee, we can increase its uh, time. We, um... we can give a bird fruit and just. Um... Oh, what else? Should we just use the XP chip? Because, well, before we fight a trainer, we'll use the XP chip because we've got too many of those lying around. Uh, what else? Uh... What am I what am I looking for here? I guess we need Should we use should we just use the Lux Lure? Why not? Yeah, go on. Nothing happened. Oh yeah, because we already have glamour. Well if we need a backup glamour, then we can get a glamour. That's good. Yeah, it looks like Buzzy's potential level is actually still going up, so I'll keep doing it until he's fully, fully maxed out. Level 37. I don't know what the final level is. Potent, but not potent now. That's walkable right there. So we need to... There we go. Oh, a platinum spinner is there. Interesting. 
we actually catch something here? No? Oh, we could use Stinky Sin, just so we stop fighting with this crap that we don't want to fight, really. Are there no trainers here? Oh my god, sorry, yeah, we should just use Stinky Sin. Okay, where is it? Uh, stinky... We've got four potent scents. It's just too many. Stinky, stinky. We don't want to go to the next section yet. Let's have a look. It's down here. Doesn't appear to be anything down there, so... Okay, fine, we'll carry on. Another potent scent, really? to get into that little wedge on the left there, so we need to get over there. But just to be clear, can any of these rocks be pushed or anything tricky like that? Oh my god. Wait, so what do we do with that? Okay, so there's there's tricks here, so we wanna Why would we wanna do that? We want to Maybe, I don't know, push it here, push it somewhere, see what we can do. Do you want to push the, the other rock somewhere? Okay, so if we put that there, what, what does that do? Ooh, ooh, ooh! What if we do this? There we go. I feel like last time I played this, I got stuck much longer on these whole sections. Can we use Luxlure here? No, we've caught everything basically. It's just too easy to catch everything, even in insane difficulty. Really? We don't kill. Okay, I'll just give you a uh, vitalizer.
first. <laughs> Okay, so how do we do this? So there's no rocks to push, so there's no tricky stuff like that. I want to end up against this. Ah, like this. There we go. Skill flash 34. Now what? Wanna... Um... We want to. Is this even possible? Wait, where would we come from? Wait, there's a ladder here. Holes, I remember now. So it's like, yeah, it's not actually possible without the uh, rock. You need to send the rock down. Am I frozen? Yeah. We're still getting potential levels on Buzzy, so what else do we want to increase? I think at this point just defense or HP or whatever. HP next turn. Wait, is that it? I didn't see any... Alright, I think his potential level is maxed. Yep. Okay, that's it. We're done with Buzzy. Buzzy is fully maxed. At this point, we should probably just work on someone else, like Humby. Or, um... Even Glamour, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, let's go for Glamour, because we want Glamour to be winning a bit. Um, why are we giving levels to Paz a bit? Why are we giving XP to Paz a bit? Alright, we'll give... Well... Wait, what am I doing? Okay, just hold on to the gold lump then. <sighs> Give you smart gem, use more XP without using the birth fruits. Okay. 
Uh, do we want to push this rock up here, I guess? Oh my god, that is nothing. Because the speed is not good. Try agility training and then do it again. So now... Oh, that only increases the speed by one. That's not as good as I thought it would be. Alright, in that case we should not bother with whoosh. Stick with the air one next time. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to swap out because he can't do enough damage. He can't swap out. Well, fuck. We'll have to finish off with him. I don't know, Bumby. It's not trapped. It said it was free. It said. Spinner. So now that there's rocks here, we can just uh, do what exactly? Fuck! That was too close. All right. I keep forgetting he's not actually that strong. We need to learn. We're gonna have to rely on Buzzy, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, just put Buzzy back in. Buzzy's the only one that can really right now.
checkpoint reached. Uh, should I go back and heal? I don't know. Uh, oh god. Alright, come on, let's reason this out. So we want to come from that little... We want to get into the top left corner, basically. Which we can do if we go... Like this. Now what? Go like this? This, this. There we go. To rethink Glamoth's thing because um, Wush is just not very good unless you've got high speed, which I don't. So take off that and that. But Super Drain is actually pretty good. We'll just heal. What else? Raise the special attack and special defense by one stage. That's, that's good. Anything else? Having the damageable special moves, well, Titans have physical moves as well, so... Lower the target's special defense by one stage, that might... Well, but we only hit, like, once, don't we? Drowsy is not that good. Alright, we'll stick with Super Drain. No. Can I catch anything here either? Oh my! Hello, Atlanta. Whoa! Oh, wait, what? How did he resist so much? I don't want to hurt him now. I thought a lantern was water type. Oh, he is. I think. Yeah, he is. Oh, his potency is not that good. He has some ice moves, though. Ooh. Cool. There's no trainers here. We don't even have the Lux Lure available here, that's interesting. What do I... Is there a way for me to...
feel like I should go back and heal. It's a pat a bit here. It's a fight. Strange place for him to hang out. How do I get out of the cave? Where's the exit? Oh, because we came from this. The exit's the other side. Oh, just whatever. Let's just, uh... Okay, there don't seem to be any trainers in the lobby, so we could, uh, just, um... Maybe send Patabite and Pitabite home. Uh, so we put Patabite away. Withdraw. What else? Uh, so we're against ice. Fire is good against ice, but fire is just not really that good in general. Well, what fire do I have? Ruptus, I suppose it's all right. S Sand is just good in general. Maybe I should train up my mole bash. Okay. Oh, Eclipto? Ghost type? Might as well. Where is he? It's a perfect, perfect clean up up. Yeah. Might as well train him up. He's just good in general now that we don't have to fight Illusion anymore. Hello, Wugger. Um, this is Karamon, basically. A clone of the old Pokemon games. Why is it insane? Because um, uh, the difficulty's name, the name of the difficulty is just called insane. It's actually Nuzlocke. It's the first time I've seen a Pokemon-esque game where the devs have actually built Nuzlocke into the game instead of you having to uh, kind of implement the Nuzlocke rules yourself, which is really cool. Um, so it actually kills your mons, you know, if they faint permanently. So you don't. So uh, Nuzlocke is basically Pokemon, but it's made a bit more challenging. So you play Pokemon, but whenever your Pokemon faints, you release them. So it's as if they've died permanently. I think that's the way Pokemon should be played. Uh, otherwise, it's too easy. If they just faint, you can go and re replenish them at the um, Poké Center, get their health back up. So it's basically permadeath mode for Pokemon. I think that's the way it should be played prop like casually. Uh, uh, it just makes it way more fun. <laughs> so if a Pokemon dies, it's permanent. But Nuzlocke usually also implements the rule that if you in each area you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you find. Uh, and never allowed to find another Pokemon there. So that kind of makes you work with what you've got and not, not just try to grind for all the best Pokemon. So that is implemented here as well. Although I do kind of have one of the best Coromon in the game, which is Humby. It's a big B. But if he dies, then that's it. I won't be able to get him again, unless I find him somewhere else. Um, I will give you the lazy gem to get you some XP. The original Pokemon Game Boy game, so like red, blue. 
I, did, I, did, I didn't get into it as a kid, and I think part of the reason I didn't get into it is because it should have really had Nuzlocke rules. It should have been made a bit more like a... Like a roguelike kind of game. Or at least I would have liked it to be like that, because otherwise it's just way too easy. You can just grind and heal, and there's just no... there's nothing to lose. <laughs> Just claim these things. Alright, so I'm about to take on... Um, one of the Titans, which is like the six bosses. Which is the kind of the analogy to... The analogy to uh, the gym leaders of Pokemon, which were the bosses. Although it kind of makes more sense here. Basic, okay, basically this is like Pokemon, but the devs actually thought about... Story and canon and all that stuff. Whilst Pokemon is just kind of... Everything's kind of arbitrary, and you got these gym leaders who are like level 10, which doesn't make sense because, you know, after an hour you're no longer level 10, so why are there level 10 gym leaders uh, in a village uh, it, uh, when they're actually so weak? Um, here it's like diff the titans have different... Uh, Levels, so it kind of makes more sense that you'd have titans of different levels, but gym leaders, you'd expect them to just be high level because they're gym leaders, they're supposed to be challenging for people to come come across and fight. Uh, I guess I'm going up here, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we're trying to climb the top of this mountain. There should be a titan up here. Alright, now the music gets all eerie, I guess. We got an ice puzzle! Yay! I can't remember if the original Pokemon had this type of puzzle, but they had similar ones. Boulder pushing puzzles. Uh, how do we get there? I suppose we need to go up here. Yeah. Yeah, only move in one direction. So they, they included lots of kind of these classic puzzles, which are pretty good. Um, you got like sliding block puzzles, you've got... Um, you got Mastermind, which is based on the old British board game called Mastermind. But here they call it Mr. Mind, uh, which is kind of a pun that most people don't get. But yeah, there was this old game called Mastermind, a board game, where... It's like one player chooses four four color four colors in a row, and the other player has to guess them. And every time they guess, the person who has the four colors four colored pegs gives a hint as to whether they've got one correct or zero correct or one in the wrong place. And then they've got to try and figure out what the four colors are from those hints. Uh, they've got something like that in this game, which is given a lot of players a lot of grief um, <laughs> because they just don't get it but I thought it was a really good puzzle and uh, quite smart but a lot of play a lot of people I guess people coming from Pokemon don't expect the puzzles to be that hard they expect it to be like Pokemon just kind of pointlessly easy so a lot of people complained about that puzzle <laughs> Uh, how do I get there? I want to go... I want to come from down there, don't I? So, like... Here. There we go. Phoenix Stone. It's, it's useless because Phoenix Stone revives your fainted Coromon, but we're playing Nuzlocke, so they're going to be dead anyway. Oh, there's something here. Cato fruit, useless. It's like battleship but with colors. Uh, 
very loosely. Yeah, you, you've basically got four colored pegs which which are hidden, and yeah, your opponent guesses four colors. So they'll say red, blue, yellow, green, and you have to just give them a number saying, okay, you got two correct, one wrong, and you got one in the wrong place. And that's that's the hint. And then they get another guess. But in Mastermind, the actual board game is implemented with pegs and slots, so it's kind of visually quite good. Um, quite a bit easier than what I've described, because uh, you can sort of see your previous guesses based on a bunch of pegs that you put in the slots. So yeah, I was surprised when I saw Mr. Mind in this game because it's it's kind of an obscure game now. Um, you don't even see it. You don't even see it reflected in video games much. <laughs> It's of Israeli origin, interesting. Ah, see that thing in the ice there? It's a hint. We should probably prepare. Prepare for trouble and make it double as, um, as, a. Uh, Team Rocket would say in the original Pokemon. In this game, you kind of have an equivalent of Team Rocket, the villains, uh, but they're a bit more villainous. And they don't—they don't just come up with stupid ways to try and catch your Pikachu or catch Ash's Pikachu. Hmm, interesting. Like, yeah, because now there's a British TV show called Mastermind, but it's not in any way related to the board game. When I first heard of it, I thought it was going to be... I thought it was a game show where they would actually play the board game Mastermind, but that would kind of be boring. But, yeah, it's, it's just a quiz show. Um, but with a slight twist. Um, before I fight, I want... All right, we'll give you... So these guys earn passive XP, even if they're not fighting, which is uh, good. Um, item. I got level 99 Buzzy, which is just OP, but I'm going to try and beat him with just the Glamour. I don't think he's strong enough, though. So we'll have to switch to Buzzy when the going gets tough. Alright, so Glamath is just going to use uh, Super Drain over and over again, basically. There's not much else we can do. Um, uh, what else? Yeah. Buzzy, you don't need that item. You can take that off. Uh, if you... Just had an add-on stream with a familiar. What was the familiar? Like a, a cat or something? <coughs> Fairy dragon. I'm not sure which of these actually... It's worth using. Let's have a pista. Attack by 50% but can only use the first skill it uses in each battle. That's pretty good, but... It doesn't fit the move set that we have. Ah, this one's good. 25% more damage but uses 5 more SP. Just Let's just use that then. 
Camilla could cast bolts at enemies at a range. 1,500 hours. Impressive. I don't know if you've ever seen the Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode, but it seems like it must have been quite inspired by those kinds of games. Um, because it seems like it has a similar style. In Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode, you're just a... It's a very randomized world where you've got all these towns and you can go out and um, fight legendary um, bosses or just like uh, uh, just random monsters and stuff. It's a very, very heavily randomized roguelike uh, using the engine for Dwarf Fortress, but not, not, not doing it in civilization mode where you build a dwarf fortress civilization but instead you're just a guy you could have a familiar you could have different classes and skills and stuff and you're just wandering around the world um visiting villages uh towns and i guess doing quests and stuff it's still kind of in progress it's not as fleshed out as the dwarf fortress mode but it's a pretty good Game mode. Um, yeah, it is. I, I expect it's very heavily influenced by add on and games like that. Um, yeah. But right now, I mean, the current state is pretty. I think it's 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 pretty playable. It's like uh, it's uh, when I first saw it, it was it was kind of not really playable yet. It was in its very early stages. But now with the Steam release. Which I think I'm going to get at some point. I think it's about time I actually get the Steam game. Um, it's like a good alternative to Dwarf Fortress. The actual the actual fortress building. Which is a bit more like Grimworld. Alright, is that everything? We just want to go and fight now? Uh, Glamath has got me. Vitalizer... Yeah, well, okay, let's go up then. Is there any oh XP chip. Let's use an XP chip. Might as well. Where's XP chip? Yeah, and now we can actually play with graphics. Before the Steam version, essentially the native game was um pure ASCII. You just had to download mods. If you wanted graphics. But yeah, it was about time they added graphics. Like, it, it's fun to do the ASCII version, like, for the novelty, but <laughs> at some point, you can't really see what's going on unless you just, you, you're, I don't know, like, it's like in the Matrix, you know, you, some people can just see, <laughs> see everything, but it takes many, many, many hours of dealing with all that ASCII before you can actually see it open. Does it come with Dwarf Fortress or is it its own thing? Yeah, if you if you if you load the Dwarf Fortress game at the main menu, you actually choose Well no, first you build a world. You can build a world and it generates all the towns and everything, like the whole world. And then in within that world you can choose to play adventure mode where you just spawn in that world. Or you can choose to play Dwarf Fortress mode where you build a fortress. And I guess it kind of puts them both in the world. So if you then go to adventure mode, you could actually visit the town you made in Dwarf Fortress mode. Um, but it would just be kind of an automated version of your town. And it generates all the history of all the battles that used to be fought. So there's like ruins, ruins based on battles in the whole history. Um, and kind of like you can find books in the library which detail past events and past... Um, kings that ascended to thrones and stuff. <laughs> right, I think we're ready to go up then. There he is. There's nothing else I need to do. Right then. Preserva, is that the core stone I feel? Are you still resisting them? The water reaching me, that I'm bending. It filled me with crimsonite already. So the kind of general story is that crimsonite is infecting everything and 
some of these totems are becoming half Crimsonite. Crimsonite is almost like a new element. Kind of like a dark element. In addition to like fire and water and stuff like that. The Crimsonite. I can bend it to anything I desire. Even conjure pure coolness from it. This ecstatic feeling of aptitude, of unleashed potential. I want everyone to experience it. Perhaps we would just we should just embrace this new element after all. You can't just give up like that. What about the Coromon? Versus us humans. Your brethren in capital letters. I have considered that hex tree. Our types will no longer be dividing us. So I can reunite with my brethren. Together we can create better life forms. We can create wonders. Things even grander than Velua. We should just stop resisting. Let it wash over us. To be fair, there's no real reason why Crimson Knight is bad. It's just change, and change is bad. So I guess that's why we're fighting the the, the change of Coromon becoming Crimson Knight Coromon. We don't like change. It's not, it's not It's not even really implied that it's evil, it's just it's indicated that aliens introduced Crimsonite to the world and it's infecting and some Coromon are becoming Crimsonite Coromon and it makes them stronger Coromon because they resist all known types and don't have any weaknesses. As a side note, your captions are far more accurate nowadays. Yeah, it, I... I think Google's caption, or at least the Google caption plugin, is actually getting better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's tempting to use the silly, the bad captions, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it does serve its purpose. Like, earlier on, I was doing the programming stream, and somebody pointed out that they are kind of watching various programming streams but using my stream kind of in the background but they're just reading the subtitles to see what what at what stage of the pro problem I'm in so yeah I should really strive for accurate captions if I can but <laughs> still Willist and Floritant <laughs> Alright, so this guy is not even proper ice type. Oh, he is ice type. He's not crimson type. He's actually ice type. So that means he'll still be weak to fire. But I don't like using fire because fire is kind of crap. Alright, so I think the first thing I want to do is increase my precision. That straight up increases your... Um, attack damage. Increase it to six plus six. Okay, so now we are at maximum accuracy. So the the funny thing is, so in this game, you can have a reduced RNG mode where all RNG is sort of replaced with deterministic stuff, so accuracy just becomes increased damage. But then there's stuff like crits, instead of happening, you know, with 5% chance, they'll instead happen when your crit counter accumulates a certain threshold. And then like moves which are supposed to send someone asleep every, like one in five times uh, will happen exactly one in five times instead of with 20% chance. It basically turns all the RNG aspects into deterministic. It's a different way of playing it, and I don't think any Pokemon games did it like that. Uh, Pokemon liked just to have wild RNG, but this is kind of a more... as the name implies, uh, less RNG version of combat. Which is used for PvP because people much prefer this for PvP. Then it becomes more about strategy and not about wild moves. Like, there's one hit KO moves which will kill in one, but have really low accuracy. So it's just kind of annoying if you get beaten in a tournament by someone who was just spamming that until it actually hit.
All right, now we've got maximum accuracy. So if I try Super Drain, let's see how much we do. Oh my God, that's nothing. Oh. So I could increase my special, but it does, I don't think Glamathus is really gonna be able to fight him easily. Yeah, he's just gonna keep pelting me with snowballs. Yeah, he's level 65, I'm level 50. This is hopeless, and we're about to die, and that's bad, so let's swap into... I didn't want to have to resort to using Buzzy because he's overpowered, but I don't see anyone else really taking him on. Humby, maybe? give him a try, but even he... Well, he's only three levels lower, so... i can try this. Um... Try transcending, see how much damage. Not much, but we can increase it. Oh, fuck. See, he's almost dead already. Alright. Buzzy. I'll have to resort to Buzzy. So let's do feelers. That doubles the does 225% damage on your next move. And then do transcending. See, that's more like it. Fuck, uh, okay. Uh, let's use a combi cape to to heal and because we're frozen so nothing's going to happen this move anyway so we might as well use a uh, just use choose a large really Frozen everyone. Alright, we'll use a combi medium. Okay, we've thawed out now. Alright. Feelers. He's gonna resist physical attacks now. Well, that's pretty strong. Got knocked down. It's not a thing you often see in this game. Uh, just use HP just in case. Did we use feeders? Okay, this should kill now. I mean, it feels cheap to use a level 99 Buzzy, but hey, it's permanent. I'll take whatever advantage I can get. I'm just trying to get the Steam achievement for beating the game on Insane. <laughs> but it's actually not that hard. <laughs> On insane. There's there's some difficulty options to make it much harder, like level caps. That's what I would have liked to play, but weirdly you won't get the Steam achievement if you turn those on, even though it's making it harder, because then you're not technically playing insane difficulty, so they are meant to complement each other in perfect harmony, compensating for each other's weaknesses. Crimsonite has no such concept. Yes, you rekindled a fire within me, Hextree. We cannot give up on our elements. Why not? I don't, I don't feel like they've really given us a reason why Crimsonite is bad. Why don't we all become Crimsonite? Then we'll all become strong. Why? What's... What's the bad thing? I mean, okay, we'll lose classic elements like water and fire and stuff, but... But it, what's actually wrong with doing that? <laughs> Those that fall to Crimsonite believe they're doing good. 
keeping a new and better world. Well, maybe we are. But they're destroying everything in their path. I have not seen them actually destroy anything. I've seen them change to Crimsonite. Like, you can see his right arm there and his right leg are becoming Crimsonite. Okay, but he's not actually being destroyed. While my thoughts are somewhat clear again, I must shed my physical form quickly if I am to help you. Let me present you with my last remaining unspoiled essence. Savor it! We must find our sister now. She will be, must be infected worse than me. But that doesn't mean she isn't in there anymore. If there is even a spark of hope left, we must grab it. Hurry! Find Chalchu! Once more onto the breach! Okay. Oh, there's something in the middle here. Oh, level cake. Okay, cool. These science nerds suspect it's in the waters, and we have a lot of that around here. Alright, well, everything's turning red. His science nurse despicable. So how am I supposed to get that chest? Can I even get it? Maybe I missed my chance to get it. Maybe it's now impossible to get that chest because it's now there's now a hole in the ice and there wasn't before. Maybe at the end of the game, when it won't matter anymore. Oh, no, 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 we can't use Glamour. It's just buzzy. Luna Pop is a special attacker. Well, you can make him a, a, a regular attacker, but I think special attacker is... Oh, wait. It's not clear, actually. Let me have a look at the wiki. What's he better at? Physical or special? I think he's actually... Ooh, it's very close, but he is actually better at special attacks, slightly. So you could build him as a physical attacker, if you wanted to, but I think... Because he's a ghost, he has... Good special moves, and he has good physical moves. So he can go either way, but I think special is probably the better way to go. But yeah, he's one of the few that you could actually build either way. Usually there's one obvious route. Either you go in physical or you go into special. But in his case, I think... Uh, yeah, in his case you can go either way, but in most cases you, you just want to pick one because the other is just not worth investing in. Which is interesting for PvP because when you see someone pull out an Eclipto, you don't know whether they've made it physical or special, so you don't know how to counter or what to defend against.
Tuco. <laughs> Alright, so at this point in the game... I have played this game before, but at this point in the game, they've completely overhauled the ending, so it's all going to be different from now on. Because people complain that, well, when they first released the game, it was kind of unfinished, so the ending was kind of left in a weird state. Uh, and they just kind of wrapped everything up abruptly. Um, so they've now redone it a year later. So apparently it's, it's kind of a lot better now. So at least there's just science nerds left. All the inhabitants of this town have all left. All of this metamorphosis, water, the soil, even fire. How is any of this even possible? Does Crimsonite have a replacement for every element known to us? How can something so contaminating come out of nowhere? Why, why are we only just asking these questions? Throughout the entire game, we've been seeing Crimsonite pop up here and there. We've been fighting Crimsonite bosses. Like, literally, that's the entire story. Why are you asking this question just now? <laughs> Nothing seems safe from this relentless virus anymore. I can't help but wonder if we missed something. Could we have done something to prevent this? I mean, if we every time we face the main billion, if we had just fought him instead of just letting him make his witty remark and walk away, then maybe we could have prevented this, but... But apparently we have to allow him to make a dramatic exit. <laughs> I can form a weapon against Crimsonite, but I need the water essence. Ixcom, the very epicenter of this outbreak. The Cormon around there are already the strongest in Belar. Imagine if they'd have bending powers like that Lumon. Far worse? Well then that means there's stronger Cormon there for me to catch. We all believe in you, all two of us. Poor snowman. He can see his doom, his impending doom, but he can't do anything about it. So, Alavi is lost. <laughs> Cub Zero is still happy chilling out here. Um, can we still use the... Is the shopkeeper still operating? Nope. Oh, wow. So, we... we why do they even hire staff then if we can just use the machines ourselves? Of course, you're still allowed to play multiplayer. Uh, Crimson Knight can't stop us from playing multiplayer. Shop is closed. Ending machine works though. I think we've got everything we need. Oh yeah, we can use this... Um, All right, we'll put Humby at the front. Move that item to Glamour. Give you um, the Smart Gem just to get a bit more XP. 
Right. Just go straight to the next place then. Uh, Buzzy. Don't need to do anything with you. No messages. Not even going to visit mum before we go. We may never come back. Oh, could use the kitchen to make Combi Cake XL. Why not? Just make loads of them. Alright, where we where exactly do we go from here? The final heightened essence can be found around XCOM. Somewhere around here. Oh, I know. There's a cave down there where someone was just blocking the cave for no reason. I bet they've fled now. I can't even go there. How do we get there? Okay, we can't go that way. Can we? Okay, go this way. And when this game first released, it was half the speed. I've put double speed option now. They've included double speed option. So everything was basically this, but half the speed. It took absolutely forever. This is not the time for jokes. The world is ending. He's given us three more XP chips. Experienced warriors only. Is this where we're meant to go? Oh, mum's calling. This might be the last time we ever talk to her. Mum? Hextree, Hextree, you're okay. It's so good to hear your voice. I'm a nervous wreck. I just came back from the fortune teller, and she, she... Oh, mom, stop listening to that woman. She's just trying to get your money. A sinister energy grows closer to Hextree. You've got to promise me, Hextree. Promise me you won't do anything. Oh, mom, I'll try to be careful. Don't worry. What do you mean, try? Oh, look, I'm going to transfer money into your account right away. Twenty-five thousand. Okay, that's a nice addition to my eight hundred, eight hundred thousand. Can we catch something here? Alright, let's use a potent scent. Yeah, so the potent scent means whatever you catch here is going to be more potent. Nothing happened. Alright, that was a waste of a potent scent. There is a Pokemon Nuzlocke on the Wheel of Struggle that could come up at any moment. Pokemon Gold. And um, I feel sorry for any Wheel competitors who haven't played Pokemon before because that's gonna it. It is not easy to get into a Nuzlocke without Pokemon knowledge. It's pretty tough. And to make things worse, it's not just a normal Nuzlocke. They're making it a hardcore Nuzlocke, so you're not allowed to use items in battle. 
you can't heal your Pokemon, you can't use items to change their stats or anything. So that just that I don't know. Nuzlocke is hard enough as it is, <laughs> but hardcore Nuzlocke. And although there's level caps as well, so you're not allowed to have your Pokemon exceed level of the next gym. Um, okay, don't go here. Uh, where do we want to go? No, we need to... We need to hit this... Oh, I think we've got to push this rock down. And then... That's it, right? Alright, we're one step closer. that move it's doing. Oh, special defense is increasing. Damn it. I've got to try and get the box even though I know I'm not going to care what's in there. level cake. Not a big deal. Come on, can we use this? Nothing happened. Alright, well there's just no Coromon to be caught. Yeah. Headcrab. Oh my god, we almost lost Humby. No one can really take them on, it's gonna be Buzzy then. I'll put all my eggs in one basket here, so Buzzy just... Ow, Buzzy's... Buzzy's getting hurt. Alright, we use Transcending against this guy first. Wow. 
Can we just go in the water? We can. Okay, pushing puzzle. Okay, so these can't be pushed in this direction. Uh, this first move has to be this then. Then this. Then... I suppose we could do that, I don't think it'll help. Do that, that, that. <laughs> but I want all those boxes, even though I know that I don't want what's in them. Oh my god, another one of these sandrills. Oh my god, that does like no damage. destroyed by a tiny little dumb pod. Just to be safe, let's use a... Trainers anymore. So there's no reason to use Silkwill. So let's get rid of Silkwill. Toads? No. Water. It's not going to be good against water. Well, he's got... I don't know. He'll resist water moves, but... Sand is bad against water. Actually, maybe water is a good move, yeah. He's 53 as well, so he's got good... I mean, Lumon.
No Observer Herb. Sort these monster by color, but only where two red monsters appear beside a green monster. Diagonals count as beside, unless it's surrounded on the other three side by yellow monsters. <laughs> um, you know, there are actually puzzles in this game, not, not far off from that. <laughs> there are some kind of um, uh, puzzles based on, like, kind of like a... Uh, 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 kind of like a more rudimentary form of Einstein's puzzle, the one with the houses and each guy owns a dog or a cat or something, or like so-and-so needs to be adjacent. So yeah, they do have puzzles like this. It's, it's supposed to be based based on like the original Pokemon games, but more interesting puzzles and better story and I think better combat as well. Basically an improved version of the old Pokemon games. Okay, I'm going to go with Chonk Toad, but I think we're kind of towards the end of the game, so all the good puzzles are done. Now it's just like... Has it lived up to its aspirations so far? Yeah, I think it's a good game. I got it on release, and it was kind of in an unfinished state, so... Now I'm playing it again, and it's a lot better. Um, you have double speed. Which is good, because it was dreadfully slow before you could double the speed. Um, people have complained about the puzzles, but I think they, it, they're they good. Like, the one people complain about the most is one I was discussing earlier with Wugga. is is based on an old British board game, board game called Mastermind, where one player has four coloured pegs, but they hide them, and the other player has to guess what they are. Each time they can make a guess, like, I'll guess red, blue, green, green. And then the person who's hiding them gives them a hint, like, okay, you got two correct, one wrong, one in the wrong place. And using that hint, you've got to kind of, using all your past hints, you've got to try and infer what the four colours are. A lot of people who play this game just can't figure that out, and, and they complain a lot. Um, it's a good puzzle. And a lot of people don't get the reference because it was a very British... I don't think it was really released worldwide, Mastermind. And it's kind of an old game now. I don't think it's really sold anymore, but... I remember the first time I encountered a Mastermind puzzle in the game, I was so confused. Yeah, you don't often see it used. In this game, they made a pun. It was called Mr. Mind, or at least the guy who was giving you the puzzle. Oh, I'm going to take this guy out. We'll give him a a um Where is he? I thought I withdrew him. Withdraw. There we go. And we'll give him something. Give you Uh, lazy jam that gives you XP. All right, let's continue. I'm a bit lost. Where do I go from here? Is there an exit here? There's no exits here. I don't think I'm meant to go this side. Where else can I go? Ah. Haven't been here. So I, I saw you attempted one of the uh, Advent of Code puzzles. Um, which one was that? Day four? Was that your first time? Um, day three. Yeah. It kind of. Day one and two kind of threw people off guard because they were harder than usual. Usually day one is just something like, I don't know, sort this list into alphabetical order or something. It's usually pretty easy just to get people, give people a chance to at least complete a puzzle. But this year, day one was actually considerably difficult. Um, and then three was a bit easier and then the one of them was pretty easy five and then recently 
Recently, I think we had what I think was the easiest puzzle ever in the history of Advent of Code. Can't remember which one was that. Eight, eight or something, or seven. Today's was hard, though. Uh, it was kind of... Oh, this guy is resistant to normal attacks. Today's was sort of like, I don't know, you're trying to do a flood fill algorithm, but there's a really bad patch. Some really nasty edge cases. Yeah, I mean, some people suspect that the difficulty changing is because he's trying to make it anti-chat GPT, but then, now that I think about it, that probably isn't the reason, because difficulty doesn't matter for chat GPT. The only thing that matters for chat GPT is how well it can understand the language of the description. Like, if anything, I'd argue that the harder problems benefit chat GPT more, because... You can just plug them in and he gives you the answer and you solve the problem quicker than it would take to solve it using code. So, yeah, I don't think difficulty really matters when it comes to trying to make it anti-chat GPT. Um, it's just really how complex the description is. And how different it is from any other problem that's archived on the web. So, I know Eric has said, because uh, Eric, the guy who made the website, has popped into my chat once, and we actually discussed this. He said, because um, I told him a website, I suggested to him a website where there's lots of good puzzles, and then he, he told me he doesn't want to look at it because he doesn't want to look at any websites with puzzles at all, because he doesn't even want to accidentally copy any puzzles. So he comes up with all these completely originally, and he's he's committed to not even looking at any other puzzles uh, to avoid so that he can try to make them as original as possible. Okay, this is new. I think, I can't remember, when I first played this game there wasn't this whole area. I think you just kind of walked into the final battle. Um, yeah, so last year was the first time, well, the first time ChatGPT was an issue. I don't think ChatGPT was even available the previous year. If it was, it, nobody knew about it, but... Um, last year, because there was no rule against ChatGPT, a lot of people used it and... I mean, Eric said, that's fine. I mean, there was no rule against it, so whatever. People can use whatever tools available. But it was pretty clear that a lot of people, you know, they could solve it in like two seconds just by plugging it into ChatGPT. Um, so yeah, this year he had to establish some sort of rule banning chat and any, any LLMs, um, which is good. I mean, that's the way the competition is meant to be. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to use one of these potent scents. And now I use the Luxlow. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is a Crimsonite Uka Uka Claw. Alright, let's try and catch one of these then. Let's first get rid of the, the babby one. Oh, even the ears get this hard to get rid of. Alright, we'll just do this. Uh oh, uh oh, he's increasing his attack more and more and more. Okay, not too bad. hurting me quite a lot though. Um. 
All right, got to first do a transcending. No, I don't want to kill him. I will just do a sting first. Fuck's sake. This guy's actually tough, but we'll get to catch him. I just gotta bring his health down so that I can actually catch him. So this is one of the Coromon which has been infected by... Crimsonite. Alright, um, so he doesn't have a type, or at least he has a type, but it's Crimsonite type, so it resists every other type. It doesn't follow the type um, triangles, so just use... Platinum Spinner. Why didn't I just use it at the beginning? Platinum Spinner never fails, so there was no reason to bring his health down. So... Alright, we'll go. See you next time. Wendy... Yeah, that's a... That's a good trait to have. He's only... He's only... Potency 10, but... So this guy... His type... is Crimsonite. So, I think that it just means it's resist resistant to every other type. Good to have. Um, in fact, we should start using him immediately. Maybe replace him with... Let's be realistic. Luna Pop is never going to level up in time to be usable. We'll replace him with Luna Pop. So these are the guys I'm using. Actually, give that to Chonk to Glamour. Because Glamour is the second best for fighting the Titan. Okay. Um. Ouch. Oh, you have to start right from here. Okay. Probably go back and heal, to be honest. But that means I'm gonna have to go through the whole cave again. I will keep going. But... Not allowed to use red cross. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't supposed to be red. It's just covered in blood. <laughs> I guess Doom Doom could use that excuse too. But I was playing the new GZ Doom engine. Uh, uh, I think it's open source, and they've replaced all the red crosses with pill symbols. But if you use the original. Doom what then still uses the red crosses. I mean that's the original game, so Where am I supposed to go from here? Can I just pop in the water? No. Oh, I can just walk up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I didn't heal. Are things starting to heat up around your feet already? Uh-huh. Ow. 
Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, fuck. These guys are tough as well. then. No, use a combi cake. What the? Okay, wow, I almost lost. I almost lost him. That was insane. That would have been a... I've got to stop taking risks. That would have set me back for many hours because I've kind of put all my eggs in one basket here. I've only trained up Buzzy and everyone else is in a week. Nah, it would have set me back a couple of hours probably. Nice, we get a teleporter so we can go and teleport and heal. Alright, so I think... Um, before I continue, I just want to try and make use of this Uka Claw. Oh wait, could we catch a Coromon in that new location? Let's see. Yes, and we still got the Potent Scent. Let's use this. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. Alright, so before I continue, let's give Uka Claw to the, um... Tentaflator to give him more potency. So, I think he's already got the best trait. Fully rested, so we'll stick with that. Um... We we'll use this. Right. Um, what else? I think we just gotta walk around a bit until the uh, potent plate is done, and then we can carry on. Because Uka Crawl might actually be the best Coromon to use right now. And then, um, yeah, I almost lost Buzzy there. That was too risky. I I'm not... Alright, anytime Buzzy's health goes below 50%, just heal. S -s can't keep taking risks like that. So, Uka Claw is... Hmm. Well, he's not... I don't know how Crimson Knight type work exactly. We'll find out. done. 94% done. Just paste some more outside your office. There we go. Okay, so he's a physical attacker. We'll give him physical. Ah! The other thing we want to do is reset his potency, so... Not him. So he's got fully rested, so when he has full HP, reduces by 40%. Yeah, okay, fine. That's good. Potency 17, that's very good. Um... Moves. Yeah, we don't want ninja stance. Don't want epiphany. Body blast? 
20% chance to knock down the target. Yeah, sure, that's good. Uh, bubble blower. That's special, we don't want that. Uh... Lowering targets to no. Oh, defense and special defense by two stages. Oh my god. Oh, this is a Crimson Knight move, so it's not a normal move. These are new moves that we haven't seen before. Splatter is pretty good in general. Um, might want to use that. Enveloping darkness. Lowering... Lowering their evasion by six stages? But then what does that mean in reduced RNG mode? I don't think it'll mean anything, so... Let me Google this. I don't think, okay, uh, it doesn't matter, I won't Google it. Uh, I don't think it's that, it, it's, okay, it means they can never dodge your attacks, but they don't dodge your attacks that often anyway, so. And we can give them these moves as well. I think we'll give him Splatter. Body Blast is really the best move. 81 damage. 81 power. Unless we've got higher speed. 82. Then Splat would be better. We need one more, just give them one more. Um... Precision Eye then. Okay. So we need to reset his potent points so that we can give him some more attack. Where do we do that? Here? So if I pay 6,000, we can get a bunch of points back. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Now, we can choose where to allocate its points. And we'll just go all in on attack. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh... Let's give some more SP as well, just in case. Special defense is low, though. Okay, take a few points there, too. There we go. Alright, let's go back to the... Uh... The, the horrible place. Should be the end of the game soon. I don't know how much more there is. Because this is all new stuff. 
I want to know where we catch Nibblegar because we've not found him. got another ice puzzle, but it's not really ice this time. Oh, they're mixing every puzzle together. <laughs> Why would we push this log here? Oh, so that we can come from the left now. Ouch. That's fine. Now... Okay, start again. Uh, what? Is the game crashing? Really? Yep, it's crashed. That's, I mean, in the early days of this game, that happened a lot, but... Right. Let's boot it up again. Come on, I've got to finish this game. So it should have auto-saved when I used the other teleport. hangs a bit when you die, so let's just try not to die. So first we have to go right. We'll go like, no, oh, no, 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 no! Stop dying, because this is going to make it crash again. Okay, you have to go here, and then... Here. Ah, I didn't see that section there. Okay. Now we go here, 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 here. And we have to push this one. And we go back, but don't die. Okay. Now we go left. And that'll let us go up there, but wait, what's up on this side? I want to know what's up here. It's not slidey. <gasps> ah. So we have to get to these sand tiles where we can cool down. Okay, 
there's that. And now we go back to here. Now we want to get... Oh, bollocks. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. It's not going to reset the positions, is it? It is. We have to not die at all. This is the bit I don't get. How do we get all the way around here? Oh, we can, okay. Okay. Now we can go around here. Heck is that noise? Wait a second. Can I make it? Oh, yes. Oh, we're still burning our feet. Oh, God. For the sake. Um. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, fine. I think I've soft blocked it, so I have to. Okay, what if I do that, then that, then that, then that. Isn't that it? Oh. Okay. Well, it just seems it's going to be harder.
Oh, thank goodness that noise has stopped. You would feel so much better if only Crimsonite was coursing through your veins. What is the damage? One less Robonian joins us. So be it. It's one fewer Robonian. Guards, reveal the spinners and follow me back to helping the others. Uh, they're Wabonians, they don't know. They don't know how to speak English. Oh fuck, these guys are tough. Alright, we've got to do a bit of a... We're going to have to do feelers. Wait, you have to pick a target for feelers? Alright, fine. Sacrifice? No, 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 no! What? What a strange move. What does sacrifice do? Again? Well, Lumisect is easy to bring down quickly. Man, they're gonna do a lot of damage to me. Let's see how quickly we can bring down Lumisect. Oh, alright. Alright, we're gonna use a combi cake. Serious? My other Cromon could not fight these battles, no way. They would not be able to. Use all my combi cakes. What am I supposed to do? They keep bringing me down to below. Can I? Okay, let's try something else. Uh, HP plus defense cake. Yeah, let's use that. No. I don't know. We haven't got many of those. Large. Come on, wait for a gap. I need to kill Lumisek. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Now just quickly get rid of him. I used. Okay, use Sting, because we've already used the. these. Well, how many of these are we going to have to fight? Okay, that's not too bad. That was a tough battle.
Oh, now it's no longer in phase. What the? But before it was one. So let's save because it might crash again. Is there a space down there we can hide in? Oops. Now they're not in phase, but they were kind of synced up before. Damn it. I think I'm going to have to turn down the speed for this. Back to normal speed, because it's... It will happen next time I die. Alright, so we wait. Wait, what? Wait! I think I'm supposed to go to the top section. It shouldn't matter. Can I push it? Can I stand here? Oh, I can. We've got to give Buzzy something. What's he got at the moment? Yeah, we've got to give him Revitalizer. Because we can't be having that again. Oh, oh, fruit. We can use all these on Hooper Claw when we get to the end of this chain. Man, what is the final battle going to be like? Because that battle was really pretty tough. Oh, it's slidey now. They change the rules all the time. Now I'm stuck. Um, wait, how am I supposed to... So if I push that... And that... Yeah. And then I can bump against this one. Oh my god. Not too bad. Oh, it's slidey now. I kind of want it to be fast again now. Wait, is that it? But if we want the, the chests, we've got to go back. They could be like level cakes or something.
Well, now we can't get them. We couldn't really get them before. Oh, we can. Nice. Uh oh. Wait. Ugo Did I not give a Did I not give something to Ugo Ugo Claw? So he didn't get the XP for those fights. For goodness sake. Exhausted. Uh oh. Oh no, we're in a in a donut. Well, they got me there. I just brought them exactly what they wanted. All five of them for this place. Just handed it to them on a platter. Let's show the endless possibilities that arise when bending powers are taken back by society. Just sit still, Hextry, and enjoy the marvel that is the sacrifice of a titan. Just sit still, Hextry, we'll deal with you and the other titans shortly. For now, savor the enchanting moment of Crimsonite acquiring even more bending capabilities. Now, bend! Bend the final batch of Crimsonite dust into the temple. Bend! With bending powers of six more titans added to Crimsonite, we'll sweep across the galaxy with unstoppable force. But I only have five. I didn't get the sixth one. Huh? What's going on there now? Oh, it's, um... Roseanne. It's over for you! Time to stop what you're doing! Haha, <laughs> you'd think so? The only real danger to our plan was the core stone, which is already taken care of. Chaltru's bending powers will be ours. There's nothing left you could do to stop us. Yes, there is! What the heck is going on? They've, they've completely changed the ending of this game. It's cool. Are they trapped in Pokeballs? Anti-bending orbs. Of course, there's an anti-bending orb. How convenient. Couple of level cakes, yes. That's good. Uh, can I just go back? Alright, we'll go, go forward. Wait, where do we go? Go to the Sun Temple. That's nice. Do I go in the in the blood? Okay. Let's just check the sides. The hidden things. Nothing. Okay. Uh oh, 
Am I prepared for this? They've destroyed Chowchu already? Wait, I want to use my level cakes. They got the bending powers, we don't have the anti-bending orbs. Stop bending! Just stop bending, stay straight. Preserver, run! They are doing this! They are wielding my body as a weapon! That's right, run. This is zero percent chance of surviving. I'll take those odds. No 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 no, I didn't use my level cake! For fuck's sake, I didn't even use my level cake. What's the point in collecting all these things and you don't get a chance to use them? I should have used them though. Alright, um... How do we start this? We don't know what crazy abilities... Uh, so let's... Oh, I didn't get rid of Tactical Slam! I didn't even get a chance to choose my skills! For fuck's sake. Alright, start with Feelers then. Damn! How much damage will we do now? Nothing. and do a bit of transcending before we switch to something else. Unable to heal for five turns. Oh, bollocks. Why is it using that again? No, no, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it. Alright, we can use this safely. But now we're gonna have to heal. Oh fuck, we can't heal. Okay. We'll have to switch to something else then. We use Uka Claw, but. Ruko Claw is kind of 20 levels lower than that Chow Chu. What was this too? Okay, stop. Well, there goes Ruko Claw. Fuck. I didn't even prepare properly. This could be a disaster. Hombi. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, damn it. Wait, we're not allowed to use items? Oh, we are. Thank goodness. Alright. Can we just, um...
use HP plus, or I don't know, uh, attack large. No, not on. I wanted to use it on the other. All right, use healers. Well, that's pretty good. Now, now my attack is garbage. All right, we've got to heal. Use that on Humby Buzzy. Have a look at. All right, we're gonna have to use. Just use this on Buzzy because it's no, not on you. Oh fuck, wrong one. All right, use feelers. All right, we actually might win this, but. No way! Jesus, alright. <laughs> Giving us an opening. What is this? Random stat lowered one stage each round. Oh, attacks refresh now. Quickly get a feelers in before he gets a chance to do anything. This could be a one-hit kill. Oh no! He's corrupt. Okay, fine. Use the attack cake. Try and undo the corruption. Quickly, one feelers, one transcending. This could be the kill. We can't heal now. Do we go for a hit? No, because then he might kill us. God damn it. Um... Shock Toad? Kill resist splash. What does this do? Ten percent chance to make the target hazy. That might be worth doing, or just a plain old geyser. Is it raining? Nice. We cancelled out his his effect, so Geyser might be the right play here. We've got to revive, um, Buzzy, because he's going to kill us soon enough. Wow. Wow. Come on, Buzzy. Just finish him. His attack is refreshed. Just get that transcending in. We lost half our squad permanently. They're dead. They're dead.
when we get rid of Crimsonite, what will their future hold? There's still a lot we don't know about these Wabonians. Does them already having bending powers mean there are more Titans out there? And if so, are they also threatened by this virus? For now, we must learn from this experience. Ensure it never happens again. Not here, not anywhere. Let us first focus on the danger surrounding us, for the world outside is still held hostage. My brethren, our chosen preserver has fulfilled their duty. It is now up to us. Prepare yourselves, brethren. Let me rejoin our birth realm. May our elements intertwine and harmonize, breathing new life into Valor once more. Hextree, close your eyes now. Why? When you open your eyes anew, you shall behold the rebirth of our cherished world. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, it's still dark. <laughs> okay. Wow, I was not expecting the final boss to be that tough. Like, they all they, they almost caught me off guard. I almost lost that. Cause he disables your heal. Then you pretty much you have to switch to another Karamon then, or you're gonna lose your current Karamon. My Uka Claw was really cool, but I never got to use it because he just got wiped out. If I had used the level cakes, he would have stayed alive. Maybe he might have been strong enough to stay alive. I had like What level was he anyway? Like 75? The Titan? So if I was playing this with level caps, my Buzzy would not have been allowed to exceed 75. So that would have been harder, because that was a level 99 Buzzy. Um, yeah. I think the key really is to put some bad effects on the Titan. Reduces accuracy. Yeah, reduces accuracy. So that he misses a lot. And then you actually have a chance to do stuff. That was my final squad. The other three died. Hex tree, hey there. Heard you've been taking a nice little rest these past couple of days. Sure, I just saved the world. Please, take all the time you need to recuperate. You have earned it. By the way, all of your friends at Lux Solace chipped in to put together a special care package for you. Wait, I have friends? There's not enough gold in the world to thank you, but well, we gave it a shot. I I'll always take more gold. Everyone hopes to see you back at work soon. There are some real remarkable discoveries taking place, stuff that's beyond your wildest dreams. Well, you know, my wealth is almost overflow, almost causing an integer overflow, so I don't need to work anymore. Some of us believe it'll take a couple of years at least, but eventually. How about another adventure together? A SPACE ADVENTURE! Coromon 2. Newly opened Battle Dome in Radiant Park. The challenges they offer are endless. So that's the post game. Oh, alas, my poor Uka Claw. What else did I lose? 
Chonk Toad. He was such a chonk. And who else? Uka Cork, Chonk, chonk Toad, and Humby. Perfect Humby. I lost my perfect Humby. We haven't actually 100% of the game. We're 95%. There's two quests left. Shinea is looking for a Nibblegar. Wants to trade for a Taruga. And then we've got the triple threat challenge. I don't know how you would do those. They look quite tough. Should we try that? Let's have a look at this battle dome then. So we could actually make him perfect. That will give him better stats. And the triple threat challenge, how does it work? Triple threat challenge. To be victorious, you must defeat a wild Coromon. Three times your own Coromon's level. You may only use a single Coromon in the battle. You may not use any items in the battle. Your Coromon must not be holding an item. So no items, no Coromon. Completing a hard challenge is a wonderful accomplishment, so have a blast. Three times your own Coromon's level. How would we do that? Wait, but we don't choose what the enemy levels are, so it's going to be... Hang on. So, Vlama Heights. Alright, well, this is the battle zone. How does this work? Chance to repel wild karma, not of the same species. So that's if you want to get a specific. Okay, fine. You can only take three karma with you. Carmon Rush, Trainer Rush, Titan Rush. Lone Squad. So if I had to add Buzzy. We don't want that. What would I add to Buzzy? Maybe, uh... Precision Eye? I don't know. Bitty Ball? But... We want them to be higher levels, don't we? 
I don't, I don't want to do this yet. Let's try and actually 100% the game first. And then I can actually say I've done that on insane difficulty. Because there's only two quests left. So where do you get Nibble gone? Oh, damn it, I bugged the teleporter. Um, can I still use it? No, you can still click the things. Alright, where's Lama Heights? Aubrey is there. Oh, it's gone off center. There's Frasier Pass is there, Lama is there. So how do we do this challenge thing? We need... Okay, first take off the stealth suit. 35, so we need something that's going to be 11, level 11, and we need to beat, so a water type will be good, I suppose, a level 11 water type. Do I have such a thing? Uh, so we need water. We don't have a level 11 water type. Do we have level 11 anything? Sort by level lowest first. 11 Houndos. Mino. Well, Mino will resist the fire. Should we try that? Does he have any healing moves? I think the key is to have something that will actually let me... Oh man. How could we possibly do this? Alright, we'll see what we can do. Oh, he's dead. No, we need to resist the type. We can't. Just, uh... So what do you find here normally? So there's possibly a hound or so... It's usually fire types. So we need a level 11 water type. Well, we don't have much left. We've just lost our main chance. Houndos, but we're not going to be able to do anything with a Houndos. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong field. 6, 9, 12. So we can only use him, but he's level 9. What are we supposed to do with him? Those are the only three moves. If you're level 11... Let me read the terms of this thing again. Three times your own level. Alright, we'll try. This is the only chance we got now with Houndos. After that, it's kind of... Fuck. Well... 
these sand types, so this is hopeless. Maybe you gotta use a one hit KO move. Oh, he's dead. But there's probably some really, really weird way of beating this, but I won't be able to because I can't catch any more Karamons, so it's basically impossible on insane difficulty. That means the best we can do is um, is get that nibble gone and finish the game. Where's the teleporter? Where's nibble gone? Is he uh Sake, glitched map. Where's X from? Nibblegar's here. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Come on, I clicked it. I'm looking at, um... Wait, I gotta show this on screen. Oh, it won't capture. All right, well, that's nice. Well, there it is. No, it's not visible on screen. Oh, uh, it's just a really horrible runtime error with a huge stack trace. Teleporter animation sound, couldn't find, oh my god, all right. All right, the game probably crashed. Well, that's a nice ending. Um, okay, well, there we go. That's Karamon. Game beat. And let's check that I actually got the, uh, the achievement. Complete the game on insane. 0.5% of players have this achievement. Okay, I actually got a hard achievement. I don't often do that in games. I mean, it's not that hard, except for the final boss that was insanely difficult, so... Um, it's a weird balance, it's just like easy... Maybe a little bit hard in the first boss, then it's just kind of easy, and then... That last boss, you can't, you can't just... I don't even know a good strategy for beating him if I was using level caps. If I was restricted to level 75. I'll have to think about that. All right, well, it was fun. Uh, I won't come back to this for a while now, but it's good to... Nuzlocke is the way to play these games. That's the problem with Pokemon. It's just too easy. You can just go back to the Pokemon to re replenish your Pokemon's health whenever you want. They never die. you got to have some sort of risk. you got to make it more roguelike. Uh, that's, that's what this game does, so... Um... All right. See you next time. Shine bright.